Hey everyone, in this AP series video, we'll take a look at a special equation known as the Beer-Lambert Law. First, let's remember some things about concentration in color, specifically the fact that a spectrophotometer is a device that can measure exactly how much light a given solution absorbs. We do that because that absorbance is a great indicator of how concentrated the solution is. For example, if we tested a 1M copper sulfate solution, we might get an absorbance around 0.43. If we did the same test with a 4M copper sulfate solution, we would get a higher absorbance of 0.61 because there's more solute particles absorbing more light in the 4M solution. In this video, we'll look at some of the mathematical relationships that exist between concentration and absorbance. In particular, the equation that summarizes these relationships is called the Beer-Lambert Law. It relates the light absorbed by a solution to actually three different variables. So the equation looks like this. Let's break down these different symbols. First of all, the capital A is the absorbance that we've been talking about. Obviously, this is a measurement of the light absorbed by a solution. The equation tells me that this absorbance is really determined by three different factors. The first of those is a constant value called molar absorptivity. It's a constant, which means you'll probably be provided this number if you ever have to use it and plug it into an equation. This constant describes how intensely a specific solution will absorb a specific color of light. The lowercase b is the symbol that's used for path length. That is the distance that the light travels through a solution, typically in a cuvette. This is generally given in centimeters. Lastly, of course, is the lowercase c that stands for concentration, typically in molarity. These are some of the key ideas for the video. Make sure to take some time and write them down. So what does the Beer-Lambert Law tell us? Well, it doesn't really tell us a whole lot new. Most of this we already talked about in the last video, but let's summarize the mathematical version anyway. The first thing that it points out again is that absorbance is directly proportional to concentration. You could imagine calculating using this equation and plugging in a larger value for lowercase c concentration. That would of course in turn give you a larger calculated absorbance value which makes sense because we already described how more solute particles will absorb more light. Another relationship that we can see expressed in this equation is the fact that absorbance is also directly proportional to path length. If we use the very long cuvette, like the one shown here on the far right hand side, we'd be plugging in a much larger centimeter value for the lowercase b. Plugging in that larger path length is of course going to give me a larger absorbance value. That should also make sense because if light travels further through the solution, it's going to come in contact with more solute particles and you should get a higher absorbance. These relationships are pretty important and some of the key ideas for the video take some time and write them down. Lastly, we'll take a look at something called a Beer's Law Plot. This is nothing more than a graph of how absorbance changes with increasing concentration. They'll look something like this. You can see the direct linear relationship where at higher concentrations, you'll end up with higher absorbance values. This is a helpful graph to have because if you have one or if you made one by plotting a series of points like you see here, you could then use that line to determine the molarity of another solution whose concentration you don't know. So let's say we have an unknown concentration copper sulfate solution. We put it in a cuvette and test its absorbance in a spectrophotometer and that absorbance comes out as 0.93. Since it's a linear relationship between absorbance and concentration, I could find 0.93, or at least approximate it on the vertical absorbance axis, follow that over to my line, and then follow it down to get an approximate concentration value. Based on the fact that the solution has an absorbance of 0.93, I could make a guess that the concentration of my solution is somewhere around 0.57 molarity. This is generally how we use Beer's Law plots. Make sure to take some time and write that down. That also concludes this video on the Beer-Lambert Law. Thanks a lot for watching, and here is a brief summary.